So the story of this woman is that after 15 years of marriage, she suddenly found this spirit coming, strange man, sleeping with her. And to the extent that the, the physical, physical, she can the, the appetite, the desire to lie with the husband was no longer there. And the man began to ask questions, what is happening? What is happening? And people are trying to, I know there are ministers of the gospel that they turn it the other way around and make the thing worse as if that they, no, that is, but the issue is that is it real or not? They are real. People are experiencing them. There are mysteries that we can't explain. We are Christian. We are born again. But the reason is that we are trying to push some things out is that we don't want people to be deviated. But that does not mean that we should not taught people to deal with issues of life. To deal with issues of life. Just like someone that is growing up as a child of God, you didn't taught the person to do some things. And when the person face life and face challenge, and the person begin to walk and the that walk and think that you, you lie or God deceived the person. And that is why you see that many young men, many people leave church, and they leave church and join other things because the preacher think that we are pointing them to Christ, but we didn't point them, we didn't tell them the situation of life. Christ, that, the message of Christ, Christ preached to people about life and about eternity. Jesus said, I give you my yoke to carry. My yoke, you see, he that have heavy load, let him take my own. He said, my own is lighter. It does not say that I, when you become a Christian, when you are born again, you won't face challenge of life. In fact, the total freedom that every one of us receives is what is the freedom of the spirit. But our mind need to work on Paul speak the other day he said that as you commit before you see as you as your hand was was instrument in the hand of devil he said commit every part of your body every part of your body so when someone did not commit his hand if the person die he will go to heaven but the hand has not been committed to God that is when that, that man, that woman, that man can raise up his hand and slap his wife. And still yet he's a child of God. Because the hand is not born again. Because the hand is not born again. So you see, commit every part of your body. So Paul, the Paul made mistake. There are spirits that are operating that we, as Christians, we, we should not keep our people in the dark. If not, it will cause damage to the body of Christ. The, the issue should be that as we are pointing people to Christ, we should not also forget that, the, the, that the, the ministry of Christ is just like a supermarket that everything is selling. Everything is selling. We should not only sell some part. And when that brother faces that challenge and they turn and the people will come up and say, Christian, they are turning away, they are going, they are backsliding. Because anyone that is going through trouble will look for solution. Will look for solution. So you tell you tell someone that just that, that that the spirit just molests and you know that the spirit just molests and the person is crying and weeping and you tell the person that it's just the thinking of his mind. If I was as are, are we really normal? The person know someone that car just jump, hit, knock down, and you tell the person that the car hit the it's just a imagination. He know who the pain. And at the end of the day, we lose those souls. 